is so many people that need help. But if we don't know how to grab on to them people, they are falling towards that beast, Amen. Satan. <laughs> that he already got his, his grips on. He already got ropes tied around him. He's holding on to him. But see, this is the work. That's why God said, I'm going to send my servants. I'm going to send them, my shepherds. I'm going to send them out to save the people. You see, when a woman of God was speaking to this woman, and this, this is something that we really, that's why you got to listen. And if you do have them, your ears blocked and your eyes shut, we have to open them up in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we say that what I love, the, the woman of God said this morning that we listen to other people before we listen to the word of God. And this is true. Amen. If we got somebody around us agreeing with us about something that ain't right, we ain't praying with them. You know, and, and perfect example, me and uh, Brother Deacon was, we was on East Lane, and we went up there. This was one weekend. We had to go up there, and the Lord, we was doing some work for God. He wanted us to go up there and pray for people. We praying for people. We walking and we praying. We get to this one brother at, sitting down. It was actually four of them. So we walk up, and we say, hey, anybody need prayer? Amen. And this is a prime example of what the woman of God was talking about. And I mean, the Lord just brought it right back to me. He said, one brother said, no, I'm all right. I don't need no prayer. Okay, all right. Okay, no problem. Got you next week. He said, yeah, I need prayer. He stood up. He said, I need prayer. Amen. He said, I got this woman that I'm living with, and a woman that's in my house mm. is causing me all kind of trouble. Mm. All kind of, she, I know she's full of demons and everything, and I don't know how to get rid of it. One of the other people that was sitting beside him stood up and said, hey, I know what you need. You need a lawyer. Amen. I got a lawyer for you. A lawyer is what you need that's going to help you. <laughs> so what I did was I took a step back, a couple steps back, and my brother stood up and said, look, you can't do nothing for me. Look, ain't no lawyer can help me. The only person can help me is God. Amen. It's Jesus Christ. I said, hey, he said, come on, Brian, give me this prayer. Amen. And see, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, knowing. Yes. Knowing your Savior. Because if you know your Savior, Savior you can make it. Yes. Because you believe in the word of Jesus. But see, what we do is, and then see anybody else that had that demonic spirit, that, that, that wicked one holding them down, would clearly say, you know what? You're right. I don't need the reverend. I need a lawyer to get out this thing so this lady can get out of my house. You know, but see, he knew that Jesus' word and the, the Holy Spirit would redeem him and would take care of his issues on that other end. See, and this is what man needs to understand. Let me tell you something. We're going to talk about us today. We're going to talk a little bit about women, and the Lord will give us all of it to work together. And we're going to find out what holds us, what hold us and, and how can we be free of it if we truly let the word sink in. And this is what I always say. I say it to the, to the congregation. I say it to the people wherever I'm at. If you are sitting there or you standing there and you got anything that's unclean in you, that's telling you all negative stuff that's in you at this point, it ain't nothing but the wicked one. You shouldn't be thinking about anything else but beauty. You should Amen. see beauty. You should see glorious light. Amen. Amen. Glorious, beautiful light. It's like when you walk into a dark room, that room should light up because you got the, the brightness and the glory of God in you. Amen. You got Jesus in you, Amen. which compels that darkness. That darkness fades and the light comes. Amen. Because Jesus is full of light. Amen. So therefore, I always say, if you are, and, and it happened to all of us, but see, the, tr the trick and the key is to it is to know how to rebuke that wicked beast. Amen. That devil, that devil called Satan. Amen. And we, that devil of old, that serpent of old. Mm -hmm. We can rebuke him. Because we got to know how. Now, he might be in your head, planting in your head right now. Oh, the Reverend talking about this. I don't want to hear about that. I want to get home so I can get me something to eat. I want to get home. I want to do this and I want to do that. This is something I need to do. Man, I'm running late for this. You want the Super Bowl today? Man, I want to get home so I can see the Super Bowl. You got time to be sitting in church. There ain't nothing but that wicked beast Amen. that's trying to hold you from getting that word of God because you need it. I've been many places, many places the Lord uses me. And when you get in them places, if you ain't strong in the word of God, that Satan will come along and infect you. Mm -hmm. But by any means necessary, he will use a woman. He will use a vehicle. He will use anything in your life that you might be weak inside. Mm -hmm. But see, I'm going to talk about myself. I'm not going to talk about anybody else. I'm going to talk about myself. You got people that like drugs, PCP, marijuana, heroin. You got people that's infected with cars. They like cars. Some people is crazy about houses. Oh, man, they want houses. Some people infatuated with themselves. They love themselves. Mm -hmm. They look and worship their own self. 
The Lord said, love yourself, but you don't worship nobody but him. Amen. He's the only one. But see, these are the things that hold us bound. Satan got them. He, I mean, come on. He got fish hooks in you. Mm -hmm. And he's holding you. Mm -hmm. And he's telling you, you can't get away from me because I know you want that beauty. So you want that beauty that I'm going to give you every day? This is what you have to do. Now understand, you can have all you want if you put your faith and your trust in Jesus. Amen. See, the things that the devil uses, which we see now, they short term. Right. But anything that God gives you is everlasting life. You can't see it now. Right. Mm -hmm. You can't see it. Right. But see, that's what the devil do. The devil gives you things that you can have right now. But the world is fading away. Yeah. It's going to come to the end. Yes. Amen. God is everlasting life. And if we seek him first, everything that we wish and we hope for, because we have all, we all, we know we got the word. Mm -hmm. The word compels us to be of him. You don't have a choice. Because that water that the Lord gives you means you will never thirst again. But it's in you, so you crave Jesus. Amen. Being a woman of God, get up every morning. The first thing is spoken is Jesus. We go to bed. The last thing is spoken is Jesus. And we talk Jesus all day. And at everyday life, the things we do that's wrong, Jesus come up and says, hey, that's wrong. He come. And it ain't nothing you can do about it. Because he is within you. So when that serpent of old come along and he taught like he, he taught it Eve, this fruit is sweet. Oh, we know how. Women are sweet. From the devil, we think, like, hey, all of them sweet, but they hate. We can prove it right here today. Mm -hmm. A foolish man today will lose his soul because he's chasing after some woman because she looked what she looked like. Now understand that, hey, you got these blindfolders on. You don't know the difference. Mm -hmm. See, that's what, that was my weakness. My weakness wasn't drugs, cars. My, that wasn't my weakness. Houses. That wasn't my weakness. Amen. Mm -hmm. My weakness was women. Mm -hmm. But the devil said, I know how I can trap you and keep you from your salvation. Not just that, but man too. Mm -hmm. Because he would throw, oh, if you want a manship, you can you can do it. Oh, you can be coarse. I can give you, I can give you a membership where you you get a ticket, you can get it kicked out. Whatever you do that's wrong that you don't want, I can get it kicked out. But not understanding that these places that set up to do that is nothing but the wicked one. Oh, no matter what, I can, I can do all kind of evil, but get away with it. What is that doing to man? But making him what? Sin. Mm -hmm. Because of what? He can get away with it, right? Mm -hmm. But you think you're getting away with it, but you ain't. <laughs> Amen. You ain't getting away with it. Because mm -hmm. believe me, Jesus said he's going to judge you by your works. Mm -hmm. And he is the only one that got the keys to salvation and everlasting life. Mm -hmm. So when you come with him with that junk you bring it from the devil's den, and I'm saying for the devil's den because he owns this place. He is the king here yes, right now. Yes. So when you bring that junk and Jesus go flipping through that resume and he see, oh man, whoo, brother Deacon, man, don't look like you followed your instructions. I gave you many words, but brother Deacon, you didn't, uh, you didn't comply with none of it. You can't come to my house. I'm sorry, my door locked. Go and jump in the pit. It'll take you straight down there with that beast there. So see, these are the things that we overlook. Even women, they don't know they're being used mm -hmm. to inflict. And the strongest thing right now, when God put on, the first thing that God put on this earth, he created this earth, he put what? Man. Mm -hmm. Man. Right. Of himself. I'm going to make this man as me. He's going to have what I have. He's going to have the powers to speak existence. He's going to have the powers to speak good. And good will come to him. Right. But he said, I don't want him to be lonely. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make him a woman. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to give him everything else. I'm going to give him all this other stuff. But I mean, it's like, you know what? The Lord said, I mean, we can't even assume even think how he thinks. He said, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. I know he got all these cows. He got all this livestock. But that ain't what he need. He need a companion. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give him a woman. But he gave him that woman. But what did Adam do? Did he give her everything she needed to keep her from disobeying God, because I'm pretty for sure she had the same word that he had, don't eat of this tree. Right. Amen. But was the man giving her the fruit that she needed to keep her from eating that tree? Remember, man is first. He is the leader. 
Amen. He is the leader. Of his, he's the head of his household. God said, I'm going to make man in my own image. That means you are made in the image of the what? Creator. That means you should be man. That's how I feel. I used to feel power within myself to do harm to somebody and think that was, that was beefed up. I thought I was doing something. Man, you ain't doing nothing. But the power to speak it and not use it in the physical, but in the spirit is power. Amen. That's power. Amen. That's power in the Lord. Right here. But I say every day of my life, I get up. Thank you, Jesus. And there's no one in here or in this world that tells me the devil don't come to him. He come to you, and he can continue to come. Oh, yeah. But the secret is Jesus Christ. Jesus. Because Jesus compels you to say, I rebuke you, and you can't use my mind because I know who my father is, and I know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. So what can you do to me? Amen. But the strength of God is so strong, it almost, you, you can lose yourself in him. And that's what you should do. Because that base is there. And he, prime example, and I, and I got I to gotta take a step back to my own self. If I know that I am doing wrong, why am I trying to get away from the wrong thing I'm doing? Okay, well, I know, Brother Lou, you can go to, and nothing that you do, any evil that you do, you can never pay on this earth. You can walk right in there and be relieved of it. All you need to do is know your work. But it's all evil. See, this is the tool the devil used to keep you at bay. When he give you a woman that you think is beautiful that ain't. Amen. He give you a car that you, you, you praising and you worshiping. But these are the things that you're looking for to get you where you need it. Get you where you want to go. Well, I got a nice car. I can get all the women I want. And the women don't even know that the wicked one is using them to keep that man. Because see, that man, if she can, if the devil can get and ruin that man, that strong man, then the devil done won. Because he done took the whole family out. And see, that's why when we out and we evangelizing, we look for families. And not just anybody, but the Lord leads to who we see. But mostly, we out evangelizing, he sends us to families. And we're the man. And that's why we give him credit. Man, you got your family with you. Y'all together in this domain. Glory, glory to you. Glory, glory. The, the Lord favored you. You got your family with you. But Amen. is you truly seeking the word of God? And then we continue to let them know that, hey, we are you worship it? Because God is with you. And if you want more of him, you can have it. Because he don't just shut himself out. He's right there all the time knocking on your door. Like the woman of God says, he's ready to die with you. Mm -hmm. He's ready. But if he can get a grip on that man, he done won. Because that, that, that whole house will crumble. Mm -hmm. Without that man, it's nothing. Because that man is the one that's going to hold it up. So the women, the women will be blessed for him. His wife is blessed for him. To keep him standing tall. Amen. But he has got to have control within himself. To be able to show that wicked beast ain't got no home. Like Adam and Eve when we go back. Did Eve truly, did she, do, I mean, what was it? What compelled her to eat the fruit? Amen. I mean, was Adam doing everything he could to keep her from eating this fruit? Amen. Now, I don't blame Adam for it. Because if Adam was doing what he 